So I'm going to show you dividing a decimal by a decimal with the area model using base 10 blocks. So I wanted to first refresh your memory on when we use the area model for multiplication. This particular area model represents 2 and 3 tenths times 1 and 1 tenth. So we have our two factors here, 1 and 1 tenth and 2 and 3 tenths. The product is the base 10 blocks that we use to fill in the area model. So our answer here, our, our product would be 2 and 53 hundredths. All right, so now for dividing decimals. I have 4 and 83 hundredths divided by 2 and 1 tenth. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be using the area model and I'm going to be working backwards. I'm going to build 2 and 1 tenth and I'm going to be then trying to find what this factor is by adding on to my area model until I have 4 and 83 hundredths. So to start off, I'm going to make 2 and 1 tenth. So what this represents is 2 and 1 tenth essentially times 1 whole. Like if this was my factor here, it would be times 1 whole. So there's 2 and 1 tenth. So I'm trying to get to 4 and 83 hundredths. I am not there yet. So I know that I can multiply by another 1. So I'm going to fill in my area model to show 2 and 1 tenth times 2. So right now I have 4 and 2 tenths. Now I remember that I'm trying to get to four whole, and I'm there, so I don't want to do another one whole. But I could multiply by a tenth. So I'm going to fill in my area model here. Excuse my sniffling. And what I have now, let me make sure I'm not looking at the camera, is I have four and four tenths and a hundredth. So I have four and forty-one hundredths. I can go further, but I don't want to do a hole again because I'm already at four hole. So I'm going to add on another tenth, multiplying by another tenth. So now I have four whole and one, two, three, four, five, six tenths and two hundredths. So I have four and sixty-two hundredths. I need more because I'm going to four and eighty-three hundredths. So multiply by another tenth. And this is essentially right here, this is a tenth of two and, this right here is a tenth of two and one tenth. If you want to get very specific about it. So now I have four whole and I have eight tenths here and three hundredths, which makes four and eighty three hundredths. So the answer would be the factor that I find right here. And the factor would be one, two, and three tenths. So my answer would be 4 and 83 hundredths divided by 2 and 1 tenth is, going back over here, 1, 2, and 3 tenths.